most common scenarios we see when setting up a failover group for a managed instance is this connectivity error between the primary and the secondary managed instance. In this short technical video, we're going to show how you can test connectivity between the two. This is inspired by a blog post by Nico here, how to test failover group connectivity between your primary and secondary SQL managed instances. There's a link in here that I recommend, highly recommend that you connect to to get the most recent T-SQL updates. We're going to be utilizing two T-SQL scripts. Here you can see we have the test FOG connection dash generate parameters. This will generate some parameters for our next script here. The parameters we copy from this T-SQL script will then be passed here into our test FOG connection dash run test dot SQL. This will create a SQL agent job, and we'll also display the results of our connection test. We're going to have two managed instances. We're going to have our data primary MI, East US, that's going to be our primary. Then we're going to have a data secondary MI here. It's going to be in South Central US, and this is going to act as our secondary. With our managed instances identified, let's switch over now to our Azure Data Studio. You can see here on the secondary, we're going to run the test FOG connection dash generate parameters dot SQL. It's going to generate three parameters, our node, our port, and our server name. We're going to copy these, and then we're going to connect to our primary. And here we're going to paste at the top those three parameters. We're going to run these on our primary. So we're going to run test FOG connection dash run test on our primary managed instance. You can see here, it's going to start executing. And I want to call out, I put some print statements here in the T-SQL. You're not going to see these in yours, but you can see here that it's creating a test net connection. It's going to create a SQL agent job, and it's going to run these via PowerShell. That's how it's going to grab the information and run the test. All right, the run test is going to take about 15 seconds or so on your primary managed instance. It's going to return a result site. Here you can see on our test port 5022 and our HADER port, both of our tests succeeded our reporting false. So we're not able to connect to our secondary managed instance from our primary managed instance. Within this same blog post, Nico points out some of the most common connection errors that we have here. You can see here the network connections, but the one I want to call out is the global virtual network peering. I have intentionally left that off of my setup so that my test would fail. So now you can see here that I've created a global virtual network peering from my primary managed instance to my secondary managed instance. So we can run our test again. Now I'm going to run this through the SQL agent job. That T SQL script we ran created the SQL agent job. We can go here. We can click on run. It's going to return some result sets. I'm going to scroll over here a little bit to the right. And now with our global virtual network in place, peering in place, you can see here that both of our TCP tests have succeeded. They're returning true. So now we know that we can connect from our primary managed instance to our secondary managed instance. Now let's validate connectivity from the secondary managed instance to primary. We're going to run our generate parameters on the primary. We're going to copy those. We're going to paste those here into the run test script that we're running on the secondary. We're going to go ahead and execute that. We can see here that our TCP test results both returned true. So now we validated that our primary managed instance and our secondary managed instance can connect with each other. 